Yes, hello and welcome to another vlog from Ben Ryder. I really wanted to get it right Trying to find some balance in my life I never really put up a fight And now I'm losing sleep Today we're testing out the uh, Yamaha Tri City 300 2022 model year. Not much different to uh, the 2021. The only difference uh, is the colors or are the colors uh, in this year. They have changed nothing. Um, so I'm not gonna l spend too much time on it. I will put the technical data for you on the screen and uh, I will explain the controls, the display and the storage space to you now. Not much to it. Anyways, that's the Tri-CD 300. Same engine as the X-Max 300, but it has uh, three wheels. Feels safer also when the road is wet. And um, the, the big advantage of this actually is that you can ride it without a, a motorcycle license. Um, you can ride it with your regular car license. Of course, that depends on the regulations in your country. But here, for example, in Spain or in Germany, you can ride it if you just have a car license because it's made more for uh, oriented, <laughs> uh, more towards the uh, regular car driver, uh, which also means you can have standing assist. Uh, that means it is a control system that it will not tip over. Uh, at low speed, at very low speed, or when you're standing still. Also, it, it does have a parking brake, uh, which acts uh, on the rear wheel when you actually have put it on the uh, side stand. And um, yeah, um, and also it has a brake pedal naturally on the right hand side, which acts to, uh, which actually goes on to the front and rear brake. So let's get to the controls display and the storage space. So on the left hand side we have the brake lever for the rear brake. Uh, we also have the standing assist button here in the front. Uh, we have the light switch here, a high beam, low beam passing light. We have the uh, turn signal switch here. We have the horn here. On the right hand side we have the kill switch which also acts as a starter switch. Uh, we have the hazard light switch here. We have the select and uh, reset button for the display here. We have the uh, throttle and the uh, brake lever for the front brakes. The display is LCD. I don't know if you can see this with a reflection here at the moment. Usually you can, uh, it's easily visible uh, in any uh, lighting conditions. I don't know with the reflections though here might be a bit of, li little bit of a problem. Uh, anyways, we have all kinds of control lights on the left and on to the uh, on top, uh, on top in the LC display, we have the uh, RPM counter to the left. We have the fuel level. Then we have the clock to the right. Or to the right, further to the right, we have the uh, speedometer. Underneath, we have the multifunction display. Display which we can switch around. At the moment, we have average fuel consumption. We have uh, actual fuel consumption. We have trip two, trip one. The odometer. We have 2,000 kilometers actually on it. We have the trip uh, for oil and uh, belt and TCS voltage of the battery outside air temperature and average fuel consumption. 
So let's get to the storage space. In the front we don't have, have anything, we don't have any cubby holes at all. We have the parking brake here, we can pull it to set it or uh, pull it further to release it. We have the ignition control system here, which is a keyless go system. We have the full fuel cap opening, seat opening, and we have a 12 volt, which is actually 12 volt. This is not um, USB, but you can put an adapter in there. That's it about the front. Uh, I will open up the seat for you now. The seat underneath the seat uh, compartment is very big. It's, it's one of the biggest in the in the industry, or actually of scooters. <laughs> uh, it fits two full-sized helmets with extra stuff for gloves and stuff like that. On the other side of this big, very big storage space, we also have a courtesy light right here, and that's about it. Uh, as I said, one of the biggest in the industry. Uh, of for the storage space so we are back on the road here uh, this is a actual test ride of the Yamaha Tri-City 300 please excuse my sniffing uh, it's just hay fever season here has started at least for me and um, in order not to cut out everything uh, you have to accept this. I'm, I, I know it's not nice, you know, when you sniff and sneeze during the video and it's it's kind of gross, I know. I'm sorry, but uh, I cannot cut out everything. Uh, I tried to cut out some of these uh, sniffs. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just wanted to say I'm sorry about this, but it's really, really bad for me today. Anyways, uh, the uh, Yamaha Tri-City 300, when you first sit on it, it is very comfortable, kind of kind of a little bit difficult to get on when you're not that tall. I'm 175, but you have the standing assist, so that gives you a good feeling to get on because it cannot tip over. Uh, uh, while we're here in the corners at the moment, it is very, very nice handling in the corners. Um, very safe. You don't feel actually that you're riding on a three-wheeler. Every time I ride the scooter, uh, I, 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 f I get the impression of this because um, if you compare it to Peugeot Metropolis or the Piaggio 300 or 500, you notice that uh, in the corners they are not that stable. This one here is really stable in the corners and it actually feels like you're riding on a regular two-wheeled motorcycle or scooter. Yeah, on the country road as this one here, it is very nice uh, and it's the most fun that you can have, I think. Uh, you can ride it, uh, as I said, if you don't have a motorcycle license or scooter license, you can ride it when you have a car license. And uh, that is pretty nice. Um, it has, I think, around 20, around about 28 horsepower. It is a bit heavier, about 60 kilos or so, I think. 50, 60 kilo heavier than the regular X-Max 300, so naturally it does not have the same, I mean it has the same power, but not the same get up and go, uh, also it will be slower, you know, uh, accelerating and stuff like that. You can see actually my my 0 to 100 in another video that I made, you can see it right here. The suspension of it is very good, very firm, but yet uh, very nice. Let's get on over, over our test ride uh, track here yeah that was very nice very hard and firm but st uh, still it gives you a good feeling uh, that you're on the right track um, the uh, Yamaha Tri-City 300 2022 there is no uh, different to the 2021 model or the I, don't, I think they also had a 2020 that's when it all started when they brought it onto the market um, there's no difference, they didn't change anything, at least nothing visible or which they actually told us about. Only the colors are new this year. We have three new uh, colors, or we have three colors. This is uh, one of the new colors here, this is the blue. And we have two other colors. Uh, I will put them in the, on the screen here for you now so you can see. And uh, I think it's especially good. Uh, maybe not that good. I mean, you can use it in the city, that's no problem, but maybe better for traveling and stuff like that, maybe with a pillion. Um, it is a very nice uh, riding scooter. Yeah, about the fuel consumption, my 
XMAX 300 uses about 2.8 2.9 liters per 100 uh, I'm sure this will be a bit a little bit more because we have a higher weight here uh, I reset it uh, at the beginning of the trip of course that's not really a representative because uh, we have um, I, I did not put uh, a lot of distance on it but um, I should think uh, if you ride normally <laughs> and considerate you should be able to get around three liters maybe three one three two I would say so if you go like a crazy maniac then a lot more but uh, I'm sure you can do 3.112 uh, liters on this one the funny thing about this uh, three-wheeler is I don't know if it's funny but it only maybe only happens to me you think you have two wheels on the front right so when you have something in the, on the road like a rock or something you go just in the middle you know that the rock passes through the middle but of course you don't think that your rear tire is actually in the middle so you go like this ah boom <laughs> so shit uh, or if you have a pothole that's the same thing so <laughs> you basically cannot get away with driving over a rock or something you know one of the tires will hit it anyways So this is one of the disadvantages of a three-wheeler when you go at higher speeds even if you don't have any wind you have a very large front the wind will collect on the front and you have a lot of buffeting and this is what I don't like you know if you go maybe up to 80 kilometers an hour or so that's no problem but when you go fast I mean it is of course you can handle it that's no problem but still it is not really nice and it's not as stable as a two-wheeler that's what I wanted to tell you you can still do it but it's not so much fun as with a two-wheeler so yeah I have to take into account that the Tri-City or any three-wheeler gets more unstable the higher the, the speed gets actually this is very unfortunate but I think that's because of, because of the construction you know? yeah and we don't have enough power to, pat, uh, to pass this guy so that's why I'm not passing we have maximum uh, power here already Yeah, that's why I'm saying 135, 140 might be the maximum speed on this according to the uh, speedometer. Anyways, yeah, this is basically my test ride, my quickie test ride of the Yamaha Tri City uh, 300. Getting kind of unstable at higher speeds, but that is with all the other three wheelers as well. Um, I have mentioned that in many other of my videos about the three-wheelers they are all the same but this one is specifically nice in the corners because it feels like a regular motorcycle anyways I don't have any other complaints it's a nice scooter nice bigger scooter uh, especially for the country road I would say pretty nice and I can recommend it as a traveling scooter as well to anyone maybe also going with a pillion pretty nice scooter that's about it thanks very much for watching this is Ben Rideout take care bye bye